Kenya Alliance for Advancement of Children, CAC, is a child rights advocacy organization. We have established over 300 child rights networks in Kisumu alone. And we have other child rights clubs that have been established in other areas, in secondary schools, primary school, and informal groups in the community. Those child rights clubs have facilitated proper understanding on children's issues, has brought a lot of understanding, good relationship between teachers and pupils that has resulted to retention and full enrollment of children in school. But then at times we'll go to visit a club and five or six of the members are missing. So we developed interest and asked what could be the driving force? What is forcing these children not to be in school on a day that they should be in school? So the first reason was not every child could pay school fees. My name is Viviana King. I'm a total orphan and I'm, now I'm raised by a well-wisher who rescued me in a certain place called Asembo. Around Form 2, I dropped out of school because of school fees when I was sent away by the principal. So we compared between the boy child and the girl child, who is most vulnerable? We learned that boys could easily, after basic primary, uh, get into this manual work, get money and start a family. But ladies, girls were becoming more vulnerable to issues of sexual abuse, physical abuse, when they get into issues of child labor. So we decided to talk to some of our partners in the networks. I think that is when we approached you, United Church of Canada, and they gave us some money that has helped us to support girls to keep them in school. I met CAC organization people who raised my school fees and I went back to school. And I did my secondary education in 2017. And nowadays I'm planning, I have a job that I'm, I'm raising just a small amount and I'm planning to go back to school where I'm going to pursue um, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Mathematics. I'm planning to, to help those who are poor, the, those who are coming from the low background, or those who are maybe street children, so as they can build up our nation. I want to appreciate the support and the partnership that we've had with the United Church of Canada. It is uh, one, of, one, one of our longest serving partners, and I don't see us leaving each other soon. Yeah, I can tell Canada that we are just like us, we are just like Africans. Yani we are one in terms of all, and I know that if we work together, then we shall make something that is constructive to help raise the younger children. Your contributions to the Mission and Service Fund of the United Church of Canada help make programs like this possible. Thank you and please continue to give.